lot of talk about the, uh, the standard Sonics cowling and how easy it is to remove or, or how difficult it is. And it's true that if you set it up incorrectly, it can be a real bear. The, the hinge pins don't want to release. It's really hard to get it squeezed in. But if you work it and just take your time and get it lined up well, it actually works pretty good. So I'm going to demonstrate taking the cowling off and putting it back on just so you can see what, what's involved. Uh, this is an alternative to the, uh, the horizontally or the horizontally split where it's joined it's split on the top where you can lift the whole top of the cowling off. That has, it definitely has its advantages, but um, I think maybe some people think that that's a, an imperative that because this is just such an unworkable solution. And that's not really the case. But let me show you what it's like to pull this cowling off. So I'll start off, I've got a Phillips screwdriver. These are the standard South Goes called for in the manual. And I'm just going to unlock each of these. And then I'm going to pull the, I got two South Goes above the oil cooler. Now these are all various lengths, so you have to experiment with the right length for your particular situation. I use retainers on the, uh, the strap by the canopy and no retainers by the oil cooler. And I just take these out and, and uh, set them aside. I open up the fuel door and I've got a pin here on the top. I pull it out backwards, that way it never slides into, uh, I never have any problem in the front of it. And then I've got this little hook that's bent and it bumps up against the front of the filler box and that way it can't physically slide too far to make the front of the propeller. On the bottom here, I've got short hinge sections along the bottom and I've got these where I can just bend them and pull them out. That works real well. And I've got one long pin that only goes to about right here. Um, the plans have you going all the way to the top. What I found is trying to make that bend there is hard on the hinges, it's hard on the pin, it just doesn't work very well. So I don't do it. I use the extra south go down there and that works just fine. And then lastly, hinge pins on the side. And I just have a little cut out so that I can extract it. A 90 degree edge here so that's something to get a hold of. And that's all the pins. And then after that, it just looks right off. Just looks right off to unhook the, uh, the south goes. We drop it down over the exhaust pipe. Same thing on the other side. So lift it up and unhook the south goes. Drop it down over the pipe. And it's off and it's done. So you can see that really doesn't take very long. And then to put it all back on, it's just a, just a reverse the process. So I put each of the halves on and I just kind of hook the south goes into the strap locations there. And they just sort of hang there. Or I don't have to hold them in place and mess with them. And I can take my time and get the hinges lined up. Jabiru 3300, the, the straight pipes kind of hang down in an awkward fashion. So you have to uh, bring it hook over the pipe initially. Once you do, it's usually much better for them. So they're just kind of hooked on here and that holds them in place. And I can do the side hinges. And you can see the hinges are hard to hook in. No vice grip needed. No, uh, no elaborate setup.
Once I have both sides, I'll put the top in. And I'm just careful to hold this so that I don't scratch my canopy when I'm sliding in. Now, what I do is I just kind of lean against here, grab the intake, and just pull the hinge together. It takes all the pressure off it. Slide that guy all the way in, and it's done. And then lastly, the long pin. Unfortunately, there's no good way to, to get this in without getting underneath, so I just climb down in here. Uh, sometimes I use a creeper. And I just kind of just kind of hold this in place with my hand, slide the pin on up. And I push up the loop so it just sits up inside the fiberglass. Now I'm going to stop the cam camera and move it down to the bottom to show this down here. Alright, so what I was saying was these little guys here, they just kind of bend. And I just loop, I just hook the short hinge section, slide it in and let the locking tab hold it in place and that way they can't vibrate out. And that's it. From here, it's simply a matter of putting the uh, the South Coast back in place. So I've got my two South Coast. I use these little wear washers on them. They're little plastic South Coast wear washers. And that just helps them sit a little nicer. Doesn't damage the paint. And again, every position potentially has a different length. So you've got to experiment, find the right length. But once you do, it's absolutely no problem. They go right in. Those are all locked down, and the last thing is just to close the fuel pump. So that's really about it. Um, the cowling will, will stay in put just fine without the south goes on the top. I actually have forgotten to latch them, and uh, the hinge pins hold everything in place. So the south goes are really there just as, a, as an auxiliary fastening device. The, the pins do all the work, and it really, uh, really does a nice job. So. If you're having problems with your cowling, just keep working with it. Uh, pay attention to the little details, make sure it fits fine, and I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks. So I've got my two South Coast. I use these little wear washers on them. They're little plastic South Coast wear washers. And that just helps them sit a little nicer, doesn't damage the paint. And again, Every position potentially has a different length, so you got to experiment, find the right length. But once you do, it's absolutely no problem. They go right in. Those are all locked down, and the last thing is just to close the fuel pump. So that's really about it. Um, the cowling will, will stay in put just fine without the South Coast on the top. I actually have forgotten to latch them, and uh, the hinge pins hold everything in place. So the South Coast are really there just as, a, as an auxiliary fastening device. The, the pins do all the work, and it really, uh, really does a nice job. So. If you're having problems with your cowling, just keep working with it. Uh, pay attention to the little details, make sure it fits fine, and I think you'll be happy with it. Thanks.